Let's get to the let's get to the juicy part of the interview. Obviously, I have to, I always like to ask the questions that people don't want to ask, right? Uh, and I'm sure you have seen the comments, the consistency of people saying that I should fight Jake. What do you think? I'll give you my opinion on that. I want to hear your opinion first. Um, but what what do you think about the that the people that are angling that? I don't, I don't, I really haven't paid attention. And you've probably seen in my interviews whenever anybody asks about you, I kind of dismiss it. I'm like, look, Vidal's doing his thing. He's, 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 you know, four and as a cruiserweight now. And he's, he's got some good people behind him and I wish him well. I think he's a good fighter. He had a good amateur career. He's always been respectful in interviews, but it doesn't matter whether he's training KSI or not. He's always kept it real. And he's always, you know, talked openly about Jake for better, or for worse. So yeah, um, yeah. I wish him well. That's, that's the truth. As far as Jake fighting you in the future, that, that's that's really nothing we've ever talked about, to be honest with you. So um, we talked about Jake fighting Nate Diaz. We talked about Jake fighting different guys in the UFC or the, or the Bellator world, yeah, um, yeah. different big names. But your name hasn't come up. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I wish you the best. And I'm not saying that could have never happened down the road. But mm -hmm. right now, I mean, we got we got some we got some work to do. We got I mean, we got to go out and, and beat a couple of these big name guys and, and really make a name and then. You keep doing your thing, and then maybe yeah, way down yeah. the road or something like that, it could happen. But it's not, it's nothing we talked about. So, yeah, what, what is it, his career? Yeah. So, see his career then, because you just mentioned like MMA, uh, MMA fighters. So, you're just going on that route not to fight no pure boxers, or is it just for uh, entertainment? I'm not saying we won't. I just, it, it, would, it would take a boxer that's got a huge following that could bring some of them to the table. You know what I mean? We want it, yeah, we yeah. want a dance partner. We want, we don't just want to carry the whole promotion. And, you know, in pretty much anybody Jake's fight, Jake fights, he's, he's going to have to carry the whole thing. Um, we want somebody who can kind of come in and um, have have a good amount of followers, and also like create excitement, and people might actually think they'll win. And of course, if a Vidal fight was made in the future, of course everyone th would think Vidal would win. Of course, he's got way more experience, and Jake needs a little more time. He does, and it's it's not fair to put Jake in a fight like that right now. Even though he's doing very good, he's got to go out and do it under the lights and do it under the lights again, mm -hmm. and then keep improving his opposition before he he'll face someone like Vidal. And we we got some work to do. And that's fine with me. It's no problem. We're not, he's only twenty four. Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, he's that's what I mean. It, it, Jake, he's, he's young and he started recently. Obviously, I'm twenty three, but I started when I was five, six years old. So it's a big difference. And um, I haven't when I when I see the comments, I think literally what you think. I think he, he's doing his thing within his section. I'm trying to do something within my section. It, it doesn't mean because we both have a YouTube channel that we need to face off and have a fight. Do you know what I mean? That's how I that's how I look at it. He's doing what he's doing. I have, I have plans, and I'm on track with my plans, and he's clearly on track with his. So, you know, I pulled you know, up that... your last fight. I pulled up your last fight, Vidal, before this uh, podcast. Yeah, your one yeah. with uh, the little stocky guy. Uh, what was his name? Yeah, Bob? yeah, yeah. Tough, yeah. tough guy. Very tough. And and you know what? Your hand speed, Vidal, is very good, and you do a lot of things. I can tell you had a lot of fights in the amateurs. And, you know what you're doing in there, that, and that was a tough kid for your fourth, your fourth. Yeah, pro yeah he was there. To, he was in there to survive, and you know it's hard to stop the guys that are in there to survive because they they're literally thinking about avoiding everything. They're not giving you any opportunities. They're, but they're not but, trying to be offensive. They're trying to be defensive, and it may, and you get right, a guy right. like that with only four rounds. It is tough, and you it's know hard. why yeah, are you knocking everybody out? Like you know, you got. I think I can stop him now. Right? I think I've, I think I can stop him now. I feel like I've improved enough to stop him now. But that's what that's that's what learning's about. That's what you're talking about. That's what you need a six round or an eight round. You get him out of there now. Exactly. I'm, I'm, my next fight will be will be six rounds. So we'll, where's it going to be? Move, move up. Say that again. Where's it going to be the fight? Hoping for May June. Hoping for May June. But oh, where um, the location of? To get back it it will be either te uh, texas or miami so save me two yeah, tickets i'm in that would be nice that would be nice i see what you're doing you're trying to scout me up close from now <laughs> I'm going to the fight. I'm a fight fan. I don't even want to go. I'm going to go. So no, I'm, I'm going to have my assistant book that shit and I'm going 100 percent I'm dead serious. I'm going to go. Yeah. No, I appreciate that, BJ. And I said you've always kept it 100 and that's why I wanted you on the show because I'm, I just talk as a man. I'm not talking inside. Inside, 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 inside. We don't care. I don't care and you don't care. I, I, I yeah, really yeah, don't care. It, it is what it is. Um, another thing, again, is, I mean, you're, you're kind of stuck between two places, similar to me because you're a boxing man, but then you kind of get caught up in this industry of the YouTube stuff by being associated to the guys. Now, Jake has made it very clear. He said that he respects the sport. The sport has changed his life. But in another breath, he does disrespect some of the best in the sport. 
how does that work? How does how do you feel? Does it make you feel a little bit uncomfortable? I know it's your guy, so you have to back your guy. But do, does it make you feel a little bit like why don't, don't talk on Canelo like that? Don't speak on those people. Um, Jake pretty much stays in his lane, except for when someone says something about him. So I guess Canelo made a couple of statements about Jake, you know, and, and like I said, I mean, for better or for worse, Jake does not give a fuck either. He's going to say whatever. He doesn't care who you are. He doesn't mm -hmm. care. He's not, he's not uh, awestruck by Canelo. He doesn't care. So mm -hmm. we actually watch Canelo's films. Like we just look at some things Canelo does and I'll show him, I'll break down Canelo. And look, I'll be like, look, see, when he gets him against the ropes, you see how he stands and he'll touch him here and touch him. And then he'll sit. I mean, we watch Canelo. Like, yeah, everyone, you have, have to watch Canelo. Canelo. Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, have he's, to watch Canelo. he's the pound for pound yeah. guy. I don't yes. care what anybody says. He's the pound for pound guy. Yes. But the fight he's got coming up with Billy Joe, it's going to be competitive. People don't realize that. It'll it be a tough fight. But I like Canelo in the fight, but you can't, you, no one's going to have an easy night with Billy Joe. Nobody. Oh, so no, um, I would just say, though, about Jake, you know, talking to Canelo. I mean, Jake stays in his own lane unless people kind of come at him and then he'll bark back. He doesn't, he doesn't care. But of course, you know, hearing people say, oh, he said this about Canelo and, you got to look and see what Canelo said about him first. So as a man, I, I understand that he's he's going to respond and say whatever he responds. Right, but right. Do I necessarily agree with what he said about Canelo's ducking people? Not at all. I mean, I think he fights everybody. <laughs> he's the man. He fought Golovkin twice when nobody yeah, wanted yeah. to fight him. I mean, he fights every. He's fought Arslan D. Laura. He fought, you know, uh, you know Golovkin twice. Nobody wants yeah, 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 he's fought. Yeah, he's fought. He's fought, yeah. He's and Billy Joe Sanders good. coming up, like people over here don't know about him well, but he is very, very, very high level. He's he's rarely lost any rounds in his career, much less any fights. So he's a he's a very high level kid. And the kid, look at his background. Where did he grow up at? How did he come up fighting? I mean, he come comes from a fighting area, and he comes up with you know fighting his entire life, being around that type of people. It's, you just mm -hmm. it, it gives you a big advantage. And Billy Joe is a very, very credible opponent.